Life on Earth is fragile. Throughout Earth's history, there have been five mass extinctions. One of which, known as the Permian Extinction or the Great Dying, eradicated 90% of all life on Earth at that time. If you calculate all the extinction level events that occurred on Earth, you will find that 99.9% .9 of all life that have ever existed is now extinct. All that we can do now is look back at their fossils and bones and wonder what they were like. It would be nice to say that extinction events were part of our planet's past. But the fact is, extinction still occurs today. Around 200 to 2000 species goes extinct each year. Most of which are because of us. And as of now, once life is gone, there's no possible way for us to bring it back. With that in mind, we need to ask a question. Will human beings ever go extinct? Hi guys, Random here. With tension on the world stage, it's easy to think that the way that we go out is by thermal nuclear war. And that is reasonable for us to think so. The nuclear bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima killed over 100,000 people. And that was just from one bomb. Nuclear weapons that were made after were much bigger and had much greater yields. As it stands right now, 9 countries have nuclear weapons. And they don't all see eye to eye. One wrong move and it spells disaster for humanity. But does that mean that we'll go extinct? No. Billions will die. But those furthest away from the blast will survive. They will then have to deal with a nuclear winter, a layer of dust and smoke within the atmosphere. This can last up to 25 years, which will kill even more people. Even with all of that, those who live in the most isolated places on Earth will survive. It will take years for them to repopulate the Earth, but we'll still be around. How do we know this for sure? Because we had went through something similar before. This is Lake Toba. If you were here 70,000 years ago, it would not have been a lake. It would have been an active volcano. When it erupted, those in its immediate vicinity had died. After which, the ash and dust cloud that had went into the atmosphere cooled the planet till freezing. This nearly wiped us out. Estimates vary, but it's believed that somewhere between 3,000 to 10,000 of us had survived that time. That was the last time that we were on the conservation list. Now here's something interesting. Data suggests that every 17,000 years or so, supervolcanoes like that one erupts. And one has not erupted for over 27,000 years now. So we are overdue for one. There's about 15 active supervolcanoes on it. If any of these erupts, we have two things on our side. One is our numbers. And two, a volcano doesn't just erupt. It gives off warning signs before it does so. So we will have time to prepare in such an event. And just like nuclear war, a lot of us will cease to exist. But extinction? No. Currently, COVID-19 death stands at over 6.6 .6 million people. Viruses does pose a serious threat to mankind. The Spanish flu killed 50 million people. Smallpox killed 54 million and possibly the king of all viruses, bubonic plague or the black death killed over 200 million of us. That was over a third of the earth's population at that time. Yet after all of this, we are still here. The reason why is because viruses are tricky. In order for them to wipe out a population, they need to balance two things. That of being infectious as well as deadly. You don't want to have too much or too little of the other. Take Ebola for example. If you get infected within 2 to 21 days, you will show signs of infection. And 16 days after that, you have a 50% chance of dying. If you live, however, you will develop immunity from the virus. So a virus must ensure that it doesn't kill its host too quickly because it itself will die. Neither does it want to stay infectious for too long because the host will eventually develop immunity to it. Then, on top of this, you need to also take into account those who have a natural genetic immunity to the virus. Couple that with modern medicine and a pandemic is not the way we go out. The ice is melting, sea levels are rising, Earth is getting hotter. There is flood in one place and drought in another. It is without a doubt that the climate is getting worse. So this is definitely the way that we go out, right? Take a look at this. This is data pulled from the Atlantic ice cores. 
Researchers had drilled a hole in the ice and then examined the cores that came out of them. The different layers within the ice reveals what Earth's temperature was like over thousands of years. The data shows that Earth's temperature has always been fluctuating over the years. This recent fluctuation is because of us. And just like in the past, we will survive. We may be living in hell, but our species will still be here. The reason why we don't have dinosaurs with us today is because it's believed that 65 million years ago, an asteroid had hit the Earth, wiping the dinosaurs out. Can this happen again? Yes. This is most likely how we die. Currently, we have no technology to divert an asteroid from hitting the Earth. So if one is heading towards the Earth right now, the most that we can do is the same as the dinosaurs. Just watch as it comes. However, data collected on asteroids that size that impact the Earth shows that they are rare. It seems like these events only happen once every 100 million years. Plus, we track most asteroids as well as the projected paths. Currently, there is none heading to Earth that we know of. And if we do happen to find one, hopefully by that time we will already be on Mars. Killing our species is hard. Throughout history, we have come very close to the edge of extinction and was able to pull ourselves back from it. And we are way more advanced than our ancestors. This doesn't make us invincible though. If any of these events occur, a lot of us will die. But for now, it seems like we are here to stay. Thanks for watching.